Good morning from the first water trailhead here at the beginning of the Superstition Wilderness. Southeast of Battleship Mountain is a certain elevation point that I've been looking at for a long time. I'm gonna see if I can get to the summit today. Today's hike is gonna be a little bit of an unknown. Um, it's an elevation point. I think I'll be able to summit it, but there's a possibility I'm not gonna be able to. It might be technical at the end. This is just gorgeous out here. Of course, I can't really see all the fire damage. I'm sure there is some around here. It's just nice to be out here. Yeah, it's just a long gradual downhill down into Boulder Canyon now. I'm just taking one quick break to admire the trees down here in the canyon. I guess this isn't Boulder Canyon technically yet, but I'm getting pretty close to the bottom here. It's really not too much further. Yeah, I'm almost here. The canyon floor. Battleship Mountain is straight in front of me. All right, well, here's my trail junction right here. So I think this is the end of the second water trail. Boulder Canyon goes down to Canyon Lake, uh, heading west, northwest. I'll be heading east, southeast in this direction. All right, well, I crossed over the creek again, rounded the bend, and there it is. That's point twenty eight oh three, at least what I've seen marked on maps. Um, and I already have my route picked out pretty much. I've reached the ascent point for Battleship Mountain. There's a few cairns here marking the way. There's a cairn right there. And then the trail to Battleship goes up this way. So I think I actually am going to take this just a little bit. Looks like it's starting a little bit steeper and a little bit rockier now. I think I'll head up in this direction approximately straight ahead there. Everything's pretty dry. Vegetation hasn't really been bad at all. Just a little bit thicker in a few spots, but nothing you can't walk around. All right, yes, there is a register in there and we made it. Wow, yeah, this is pretty cool, sweet. All right, well, there's a look at Battleship Mountain. So I made it to the summit here, point 2803 or whatever the actual elevation is. My altimeter says 2812 right now and I'm pretty much level with the summit. I'm just a little bit below it. Made it up just for sunrise. The sun's coming up over Malapace Mountain. It is beautiful up here. Only problem right now is I'm being buzzed by these two tarantula wasps, which I hope leave me alone. I just put some vinegar on myself to hopefully at least ward them off a little bit. I carry it with me all the time just in case, ever since I was attacked by a bee. I don't know if it works or not, but we'll see. Yeah, beautiful views. Man, another great peak here in the superstitions that no one yeah, you know, relatively no one probably even pays attention to other than maybe you see it from Battleship Mountain and you think, oh, this is cool. This is, I think, kind of how I ended up doing this too. I went back and watched my Battleship Mountain video from a couple years ago just so I could see this peak and it looked really steep, but it, actually the approach I took was you know, no problem at all. It is extremely steep, especially on this northeast side, but... It's uh, not a bad hike up here, really. Just a little bit of scrambling and maybe like a couple of, maybe little climbing moves, but barely anything. Okay, so they have this marked as peak 2830, spot 2803 to the south, 1,000 feet appears maybe a contour lower than here. So we had one for this peak, 20 feet, okay. So that was placed in 121110. I'll get the close up here of Battleship Mountain. 
So if this elevation here is 2830, it's about 33 feet higher than the summit of Battleship, which I believe is 2797. And I did look at the map a while ago at this peak here, and it does have at least 300 feet of prominence. So yeah, a peak like this deserves a name. Yeah, since that's Battleship Mountain right there, we are kind of sailing in the wake of Battleship. We're gonna call this one Destroyer Mountain. Why in the world these tarantula wasps love the summit so much, I have no idea. I mean, there are no tarantulas up here, obviously. But they can't get enough of these summits for some reason. I don't think they're ever gonna come after me, but man, they're just, they're all around, there's more of them now. I think there's at least four of them. Okay, this is a view looking basically, I guess, northwest, maybe even a little bit more west. Um, so it drops pretty fast over here. There's a few more cliff bands, but otherwise it's a pretty steep descent. There's the summit. I'm not really going to get much lower than this. I mean, I could go down to there, but I'm not really going to chance that because I think it drops right after that. And then it drops pretty significantly right here too. I mean, it's very steep straight down. All right, I am signing off from the summit of point 2830. Otherwise, Destroyer Mountain. Let's get back down and check out some more of these awesome views. All right, well, this is the route up. Maybe one little climbing move right there, and then just a little bit of a scramble up to the summit right up there. Really a little bit similar to Battleship in the approach. Just kind of walking the, the ridge, the spine of the mountain up to the summit and possibly going below the ridge a little bit too. I know when my brother and I did Battleship, we kind of dropped off the ridge a little bit, but you can stay pretty much on it for a good portion of the hike. It's similar to this, it's same thing. I'm taking a slightly different route on the way down because I see the trail that cuts south of Battleship. I, hate, I guess it just heads over to the other canyon over there. So this is a little bit more of a direct route, but maybe a little bit more steep in some places than the way I came up. All right, that's a look at the route I took down straight in the middle now. So I came down that way from the ridge up there. The route I took up is further to the south, southeast. But anyway, um, I'm back on this connector trail south of Battleship Mountain. I'm gonna make my way down to the Boulder Canyon Trail and then head off to my next destination. I'm getting close to the point where I'm going to start my approach up to point 2563, which is that one right there. All right, well, the trail is continuing on the easterly, northerly side of the wash right now. I think I'm just going to cut across right here and just start to head up because that looks to be pretty much the best route. All right, well, that boulder is the summit. Um, I'm way higher than 2563 already. Maybe it's 2653. All right, looking back on my first summit of the day, point 2830, otherwise what I'm calling Destroyer Mountain. And then this is a really cool vantage point of Battleship Mountain. Climb up on the far side over there, far, I guess, east side. Just make your way along the ridge. Here's a closer view of the summit of Battleship Mountain. I don't think anyone's up there yet, probably not. Maybe no one will visit today, it's a Monday, so there's a good chance nobody else will be out here. I'm really not too far from the trail. It's maybe a quarter to a third of a mile, straight line distance from me. Yeah, this is nice here. I just need to hop up, hop up to the trail at some point. All right, we're back on the trail. I just love this area. Love the desert, love the mountains in the desert. I love mountains too, don't get me wrong. Like your classical mountains with pine trees and then a tree line and whatnot, but I'm so glad that I can call this area home.
Okay, I'm back to the junction with the Dutchman's Trail. And it should be a quarter of a mile, maybe just a little bit more to go. All right, it ended up being 10.4 miles approximately and about five hours and 15 minutes, five hours and 20 minutes, something like that. So it's pretty nice. Uh, nice to get two more summits, name another mountain and uh, just enjoy the great scenery out here. It's really beautiful. Hopefully I'll be back at it again somewhere in Arizona within a week or so. And I just can't wait to get back into hiking more regularly again. All right, until next time, signing off from the first water trailhead here in the Superstitions. Take care.